How you doing YouTube? Uh, this your boy and today I kind of want to talk about easy and hard characters So what I mean by that is how difficult or how easy it is to pick up and play the game Especially for average players because the average player may not go to as many tournaments or they may not do as well But they want to understand the game and they want to try and have a character that both fit their personality but also they can play and have fun I think that's what we're gonna do today and Abigail I would say right now He's somewhat easy. He is a grappler by nature. You have to understand how his run works. You can't just mash it and everything. And he's nothing too crazy to understand, I would say. So I think that players can enjoy him. So she's, if you like tired or something like that, then by all means. Uh, Akuma, I would say Akuma is somewhat difficult only because you have to understand how certain frame data works with him and certain setups. Like, of course, you need to learn how to do a demon. If you don't know the motion for that or the command for that, then you're gonna right, trouble a bit there because that's one of his best kill moves. EX Demon Flip or Demon Flip in general works. You understand that you have two different types of fireballs. You know what I'm saying? You have a regular fireball and a red fireball. I would say with all his things, you gotta learn a little bit more about him. Alex? Yo, I think Alex is like normal. You gotta know how to charge and everything, but a lot of people already tend to do know how to charge he's fairly simple to understand as long as you know how to charge rog rog is pretty easy i would say rog is just straightforward bulldozer i mean i think he's nicknamed the violent bull or something like that so he literally just punches you <laughs> like you know how to charge and you can do ex dash punch or ex low punch you can uh do this stuff and it's like all right, that's pretty much all you need to know how to do. Birdie, Birdie is probably normal for the average player. I'll only say that because, granted, I play with top birdies. I'm trying not to get into that mindset, but Birdie is fairly simple to understand, but also not many people will play him the right way. They want to kind of go in and go ape and everything. When I, I think he's more so a controller, you know? He kind of controls you with his buttons and everything. I think that his rewards help him, but it also teaches you how to do certain skills. Blanca, Blanca is, I don't know. I think I just put him normal. I mean, as long as you know how to charge. Again, charging, his feature two is probably the one of the mixed up one. I don't know you understand how like rainbow ball and everything, how to control distances and everything. Yeah, that's kind of like how all I see with Blanca is like those things. Um, Cami, Cami is easy as hell. She just does medium into heavy into good amount of damage. She has excellent anti-airs. She's just really simple to understand, but it's just that she's so effective at a lot of ranges. <laughs> like, what, what are you gonna do? Chun-Li, chun is kind of difficult. Only because despite, you know, the matching of the stand medium punch and four fears or just fierce and roundhouse she is a charge hybrid character and also you need to learn how to do like stamina and punch which you gotta be in neutral for until uh like low force spin bird kick or something like that because a lot of chunling players tend to do that i would say she's kind of difficult for that aspect for the average player but i think that's a challenge i feel like to overcome uh cody cody i would say it's kind of easy other than like holding a button and the probably Visco 2 thing, I think everything else kind of speaks for itself. Like, his buttons just go into, like, EX Zonk a lot, or they go into uh, EX Ruffian Kick. Any other Fireball pick standard, he doesn't really do anything too bizarre. Dan, I think Dan's somewhat difficult, mainly because you gotta understand the his light knee. It can be anywhere from, like, negative two, I believe, to, like, plus, like, three or something like that. And you gotta understand, like, where it hits, how deep it hits them, and if you don't understand that, then you may get fucked. But also, his V skill two, you kind of fucked because the V skill leaves you at a crush counter state. So, and you don't want to be in a crush counter state in this game because this game people can do a lot of a lot of damage to you. They're gonna be like, how can you tell which knee is plus or how do I cancel this and that? It's gonna be annoying, and that's where like frustration comes in. Dawson, you know my brain. <laughs> It's naturally just going to like here because I play, but I put them right here. People may not, may not know about tiger, how to tiger knee, you know, how to do a tiger knee gale, how to do an instant air dive kick, uh, how to do tiger knee teleports, how to do all these cool ass setups and all that. They're just trying to be like, bro, he just stretches them. What the hell? I saw the streamer with the AT&T thing, bro. We all saw this, bro. Honda, 
That man is easy as fuck, bro. Ed, Ed's same thing. Ed's easy for the average player. He has no motions. Uh, his feature one does it for himself. Every person on Diamond gives you me memories of just smashing a cycle up, or I don't know what it is in their blood. It's like Ken players, they just do it. I don't know. Falk is like right here only because charge or like not charge but hold down a button for her uh charging shot so those are probably the things that are keeping her from easy as fuck but she's still somewhat easy because she's not necessarily too hard other than that fong i think fong's kind of like difficult a bit because you gotta learn how to charge you gotta learn how to mix up and also despite them being plus all over the place a lot of fongs tend to just press like cloud or, or they just do cloud into up balls or something else and they can understand a bit about them and they know how to cow crush but they don't know how to use it effectively and i think that's what's difficult and that's why you may not see fangs as much gil's kind of like eh. i mean he has fireball game don't get me wrong and it is everyone's just all about the twitter clips with him but other than fireball game i feel like Lariats, you gotta understand, like, you, you can't just mash Lariat. As an average player, you cannot mash that. You gotta understand how to zone as well, and have discipline to zone. Because if you don't have discipline to zone, just going in, then you're gonna be your own downfall. I would say he's kind of fairly normal. G? G is like... I put G normal too. Of course, G is known, especially back in season four, he was known for just robbing people. He's a hybrid grappler with the fireball as well. So you gotta understand he can zone with G and I think that's a pretty effective tool. Yeah, he has a little bit of a ski, uh, uh, like a how to play him type thing. Guile, Guile's fairly easy. I'd say Guile is pretty simple. My man's got, has had two special moves for I think longer than I've been alive. But I think a good amount of players play Guile and he understand how to play him, and he's pretty simple and effective what he does. So I think I'm gonna leave him at that. Fairly simple. Hey, Bookie. Bookie. I would say she's kind of difficult. Jury, on the average level, this is the average level, this is not pro level. I think she's difficult. All right, now let me explain. You gotta understand how to deal with three resources, right? You also gotta understand that she needs to store her V-Skills in order to use them in the first place. You gotta understand how to chain her V-Trigger 1, because the V-Trigger 1, on an average player, they're just gonna do button, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. But you gotta understand how to chain them into the damage without burning too much of it, because once you burn too much of it, it's like, all right, you're out of it. It's like a lot of things with her, you gotta understand. Also, even with the one store, the, the light fireball release, you gotta understand, depending on where it hits, you can be plus or negative. And people definitely don't know that on an average level. There's a lot of things to jury that you gotta understand that are different from other characters. I would say she's pretty unique in that aspect. Uh, Kage? I think Kage is like... Uh, mm, average level? I would probably say he's okay. I mean, there's some things like Tekkeny Air Firewall you can do, but I don't think that's a, a thing they need to worry about. But his thing is all about just hitting you and hard. And I think once you understand stomps and then, you know, fireballs like Akuma, I think you're fairly okay with him. Karen, she is definitely kind of easy. Colleen, Colleen's kind of difficult for players. Mainly because they got to deal with a different type of projectile, which is ice hail. It's prepared on juggles, but you got to understand how to do like the slide, you know, the keep up, keep up. You got to understand how to do that and how to mix it up with that. She's not necessarily like a crazy traditional character, you know? I'll say lore is normal for the average players, mainly because they understand that she's a hybrid grappler, but they always kill themselves the way they play. So that's an annoying thing. But if you're looking at her just from the average, just a normal player perspective, like your uh, thing, you think that she's a character that I need to get in be, be offensive with like you can't play like that don't be wrong she's kind of meant for that also she has these things where she puts you in these 50 50 situations and a grapple is all about that and you gotta have the mindset of i gotta understand what they're fearful of i think you'll see it's kind of normal she's got a weird fireball everything else about about her is kind of interesting she's again one of the unique characters i think she's fairly simple to understand like once the once you end of where the fireballs go and then you understand her run stuff. Everything else is very similar. I mean, she has a DP, but yeah, I think as a 
first starting like normal player i feel like lucia just kind of like oh this fireball is weird and this run is weird all right let me figure this out bison mm, bison's kind of easy yeah maybe I don't know. I think maybe it should be normal because EX Devil's Averse is kind of like, it could be different things. It can be just EX Devil's Averse by itself, or you can, you know, fake it out and figure out which side. Also has EX Cycle Ball, which you can set play. And you understand that you are the king of uh, EX moves being plus. Manai, Manai is definitely kind of difficult to play. You're dealing with, um, without crystal ball and ball you understand feature trigger one how to use that feature trigger two is maybe is a bit easier but still you're somewhat of a zoner and also you got to learn how to dive kick she kind of rewards a bit of patience and execution and if you don't have that you're gonna struggle nash nash kind of normal damn there's a lot of normal ass characters in this game what the fuck uh nikali nikali's the epitome of just a normal ass character to learn everything you want in a basic character and he's pretty effective at the basicness he has we call it seismo he has a charge move so you understand how to charge he has a command grab so you understand how to command grab he has a dp so you understand dp so he has stuff that helps the average player just understand the basic fundamentals and i think he's a fairly nice welcome to it because he was the king of just if you want to get in tree fighter you want to learn how to do all this stuff pick nikali poison poison fucking Bro, this character's easy. I'm sorry. All you need to know how to do buttons into like EX Hard Raid. Like, that stuff is fairly simple to understand. And she's just waifu Dawson, bro. Mika, look at, listen. Mika does have like normals and stuff that can chain into things. You can do that. Or, you can just fucking grab their ass. But since she is a grappler, and you have a grappler mindset, only point on normal only because. If you don't have the grapple mindset of smelling blood in the water or, you know, making hard reads and stuff, it's going to be tough for you. Rashid, Rashid is fairly normal, I would say. V-Trigger 1 is a set play V-Trigger. V-Trigger 2 enhances fireballs against how it enhances that. But that stuff makes him, like, definitely interesting to play. Everyone knows Ryu. Ryu from the streets. Ryu from Fortnite. Um, basic Shoto. Fireballs. DP. Tatsu, Donkey Kick, he's literally just the epitome of just pure Street Fighter. Sagat, Sagat is kind of difficult only because you gotta understand how to zone. You gotta zone properly with Sagat. And then also you gotta understand that people wanna jump on you when you're zoning and you gotta understand how to DP. And if you don't know how to like DP and cross cut, it's gonna be annoying for you. Um, his normals are far reaching, but sometimes they are slow as fuck. If you can't zone and you can't DP and you can't get that mind game going, you're fucked as a cigar player. Sakura, Sakura. Um, Sakura's normal. I mean, she's kind of the same thing. She's a bit of a weaker Shoto in a sense. Loses her fireball a bit in exchange for, you know, a little bit of more mobility. I say that's her thing. She's like Ryu, but more mobility. So that's. Yes, that's normal. But Seth, you gotta understand how uh, axe kick works. And you gotta understand that move you're stealing with Visco 1. And to remember, you have it. I think Seth's normal, but other than that, with like just axe kicking, feature your two stuff. And you understand you're a squishy character, so you're gonna bleed. Um, Urian, listen, bro, we all know about the gorillas out there, the apes. As long as you, if you know how to charge and you know how Aegis works, I think he's perfectly fine. Other than that, I think it's very simple to, to follow. You gotta charge and everything. Vega, I mean, People don't know how to play Vega, right? Because they could just go slide. I mean, how have you guys? How many times have you guys seen a Diamond Vega slide and just be like, "Yeah, I fucking did it." So what? I think he's okay. Zangief, he just has to grab you, bro. I know I'm fight it. I'm putting him up here, bro. My man is all about just grabbing your ass. He doesn't have any other like crazy special move than like Lariat, but everything else is fucking grabs. Like all you gotta do is make reads. That motherfucker is like crazy easy. Also, you understand that people are gonna be afraid of you and they wanna back up and be like, yes, back up to that corner. Wait, I ain't got nowhere to run. Uh, is that cool? It's kinda difficult for people. Actually, I'm putting right here. For the average player, cause you gotta understand, like two characters in one. When they see him change and all of a sudden every normal and he has different special moves change, they're like, what the hell, bro? They see old, they see, oh cool, he can do these like little uh, strider shit. But then Young is like all about grabbing that ass and you know, uh, doing these bullshit stuff. An average player, they see Zach with two farms, they're like, what the hell is this, bro? This is so much. Rose is, I say normal. 
I mean, you got not a zone. You got feature, we go one with cars, V trigger one, teleport, V trigger two. Like, it's like, if you know, Yun's uh, super working for same thing. I think what you understand that stuff, she's fairly okay. Akira, bro, I, I want to put her easy right here, bro. Okay, like, we all know what she does, but the simple player be like, what the fuck are these combos? So I think I'm gonna put her right here. There's a lot of things to mess with Akira with. Oral is kind of difficult. We all know about Tangle Stones and everything, but you gotta learn how to charge. Also, there's crazy combos with like requiring charge, but then you can do a loop. You can do loops with them, but it's not easy by all means. And also learning the effective sometimes uh, combos on the fly with the world. <laughs> Some or high level or players even can't do it at times. So the average player, they're just like, bro, I'm trying to just hit you. And Luke, bro, we all know, we all know this character. We all know this character is top. If you do know how to control fireballs, he's a better Ryu, essentially. He has this run thing where like, you know, it is a shoulder or overhead. The flash knuckle is a bit annoying on the first spot, but as long as you know how to use it, just time it, it's all about timing, you're okay. This is what I think from easiest character ever, to like hardest character ever um of course this is not ordered don't take this seriously ordered but you know the only one ordered is luke here okay if you like the video leave a like tell me if i made a mistake because you got triggered that your character is easy as hell um and yeah i shall see you in the next video bye